Hello everyone and welcome to today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. Uh, for this video, day 10 will be taking us to the 18th of September. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SHFS and ECM ensembles. <coughs> they run to, so sorry everyone, they run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. That will get us, I think, now into the into the beginning of October, and uh, I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say I've been poorly last few days, so um, you'll if you're watching videos like Thursday ish, uh, you'll know that I was having a little bit of a cough. It turned out that was actually the beginning of COVID, and uh, so Friday and over weekend I've been uh, laid up, not feeling very well. It hasn't been that chesty actually, you know, just been been really really appalling um and uh temperatures and, and all that sort of stuff that i won't go into um but uh, i think a little bit better uh today i think you know it peaked over the weekend so starting to get there but it's been pretty nasty this particular uh variant i've got to say i had it like three years ago and that was like just a little cold or something i barely knew i've got it but this one's really laid me up actually a lot so kobe's still going going around you know, still doing the rounds and um well you know it's just uh just watch out for uh particularly uh, more vulnerable people i guess uh, anyway, on the road to recovery now. Thank you so much for all of your lovely uh, messages of kindness, support, concern, etc. As always, and uh, we'll uh, <coughs> we'll get the uh, uh, the, the content uh, back up and running starting from today. Thank you so much, everyone. Just say, guys, well, this twenty twenty five calendar is out for you to buy. So uh, we have sold about fifteen uh, so far of our calendars. Thank you so much, everyone. who's brought a, a calendar up to this point. If you would like to get yourself a gas this calendar, then you you can uh, send thirteen pounds to our PayPal link in the, in the description, and we'll get the calendar out to you. More about that uh, you know, tomorrow. I want to get through this video uh, rather quickly, so uh, let's crack on. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, okay. <coughs> we're going to start off. <coughs> sorry, sorry, we're going to start off with the latest bit from that from EarthNoldSchool.net, showing that low pressure is dominating the weather in the Atlantic, and we're bringing bringing in a uh, westy flow. And there will be more areas of low pressure to head in over the uh, course of this week. Despite the unsettled start, though, it is a warm uh, September so far. CET is currently sitting at 16.3. That's uh, nearly 3 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. And it's provisional to uh, yesterday to the 7th of September. So the first week of the month is going to keep that sort of 2 to 3 degree temperature deviation that's been running really since about March, actually. Maybe even February. Been a very warm year so far again. Uh, these were GFS upper air temperature and <coughs> precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, one at London today, red line. It is a 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So starting off around to a little bit below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We're going to keep them so over the next few days. Despite that, though, it's pretty warm in the uh, September sunshine. Of course, that sun does still have quite a bit of strength to it. Um, not anything particularly exciting going on with the upper air temperatures over the next couple of weeks, actually. Temptation wise, it's going to be relatively dry now to around midweek. And then going to turn more unsettled, middle, end of the week. <coughs> through the weekend and then on into uh, next week. Maybe a drying trend though through the third week of September, perhaps some high, pr higher pressure on the way then. Temperature normally in the next five days of the 13th of September, uh, near normally in the east, a little bit below average though, interestingly in the west, 10 to 14 day is about average. And precipitation uh, normally in the next seven days are coming out wetter than average, especially so for western regions. Okay, let's start going through chart data. Let me sell the latest you it. You're a run booking big night on Thursday. Low pressure dominating the weather, so looking unsettled. A rather wet wind. We keep those unsettled conditions going through to the weekend as well. That's midnight Sunday. Quite a deep low coming in from the Atlantic then. Uh, so it does look uh, pretty wet and windy. Icon, uh, again, looking like that. So flat, westerly, <coughs> unsettled. <coughs> with showers and or long spells of rain 
and uh, quite wet windy as we go through the weekend as well. That's uh, midnight, sunny to Monday. Uh, that low pressure perhaps coming a bit later, but still bringing some uh, wet windy weather over the weekend. And we remain in that showery westy flow up to next Monday, the 15th of September. The KMA also is unsettled with a deep low uh, developing there through the course of next weekend. That will autumnal. That could be, if that is right, deeper with that low than like the other two models but if that's right that could be our first name storm of the season so i'm going to go through the uh uk met storm names list actually i haven't done that yet so perhaps do that in tomorrow's video uh, but anyway looking rather wet windy bear perhaps a bit storming for the north with some uh, autumnal gales i've uh, got high pressure choice ridging up from the southwest but that's quickly pushed aside by low pressure in the Atlantic, so very unsettled kma today and then the uh, GFS Midnight Run, <coughs> again, looks unsettled uh, with low pressure, bringing wet and windy weather free weekend into the start of next week as well. Heading up towards day 10, just a little bit of a transient ridge trying to build through the country, but then check out this low heading in. That will bring a real soaker uh, around the 19th of September, just beyond day 10, so it's unreliable, probably won't verify, but it does look very uh, wet and uh, autumnal. Probably quite cool as well as we pull down a north to north east wind, so temperatures will also take a tumble there. And then this high pressure builds in behind it, being quite cool less, so that could actually generate some uh, chilly nights, maybe some ground frost there as we head in towards the last week of September. Very autumnal uh, extended range stuff with the GFS Midnight run and the GFS 6 Z in comparison again it's looking unsettled low pressure bringing lots of showers and long spells of rain through the end of the week into the weekend wet wind especially so up in, in the north but then as we get to day 10 a little bit more of an influence of high pressure so very different with the uh, midnight run compared to 6 Z or 6 Z compared to midnight run uh, a lot more in weight of high pressure there so, um, again, I know about high pressure, it could be quite chilly by night, but by day, should be relatively pleasant. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. And drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and Others and get them to subscribe too. And uh, thank you so much everyone for doing that. Uh, right, GM, again, with low pressure being unsettled conditions on Thursday. Showers, long spells of rain, and those westerlies and unsettled conditions carry on into the weekend. Wet and windy there, Sunday into Monday, about deep autumnal area of low pressure. Perhaps turning a bit dry, but looks cool as we head, get to around days 8, 9 and 10, with wind shifting around into more of a northerly direction. And then the ECM rounds it all off. <clears throat> with low pressure, again, bringing unsettled conditions. <coughs> it's looking rather wet and windy. Let's just stop and have a drink of tea. There you go. So, sorry, but looking rather wet and windy there as we go through weekends into the start. Next week, deep area of low pressure, 980 millibars. So, um, weekend could turn, you know, so, so it could turn wet and windy, might in turn a bit stormy as well. And then, as we get towards day 10, a bit of a restart is build up from, south, from the south-west. That's quickly pushed aside, really, though, by uh, low pressure out to the north-west. And again, look very wet and windy there, with the E7 around the 22nd of September. That's classic equinoctial gales. Equinoctial, equinoctial, I think that's right. That's a classic equinoctial gale scenario uh, with that area of low pressure there. So, all very unsettled, all very autumnal looking, I have to say. This is looking like a different September, certainly in terms of being rather unsettled, rather wet. However, at the moment, temperatures are still holding up for how much longer, though? This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run. Daventry, this is the truth about no fuss cremations. Just what you want to see on your ads <laughs> when you've got COVID, isn't it? Oh. <laughs>
Um, thanks, Google. Right, okay, so this is the precipitation forecast. I can find humour in anything. Damn, can find humour in anything. Um, I have plenty of showers along the spells of rain. In my own demeanors. Um, uh, potential. <laughs> showers along the spells of rain. Let's get back to the shower. Showers along the spells of rain over the uh, next few days. And then into the weekend, wet and windy there. And uh, then turning drier as we head toward day 10, perhaps. Um, these are the options on the table. of the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 18th of September. 18 members of the ECM ensemble. Slow pressure in the northwest Europe. Looking rather cool and showery with that. 17 with low pressure just out to our west. High pressure south. That's going to be quite mixed, but will be milder. More of a southwesterly influence. 9. Low pressure in the Atlantic into West Europe and seven with quite deep low pressure through the north and the west of Europe there. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us 23rd of September, 13 members of the East Ensemble, low pressure out to the west, bring up a southwesterly flow. Uh, another 13 low pressure to the west northwest, high pressure south southwest. Again, that brings up a southwesterly flow. 10 with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west. That's going to be showery and cooler. We've got 8 with high pressure ridging through the northwest. You're mostly dry, could be a bit chilly. And 7 with low pressure pretty much over the top of the country. So uh, most of the options will be unsettled, I have to say, at day 10 and day 14. And then finding the surface B2, these are 500 millibar high to normally, so break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 8th through to 14th of September. Next week, low pressure right over the top of the country. Week 2 will be the 15th to the 21st of September. Again, low pressure is in over the top of the country. Week 3 will be the 22nd to 28th of September. High pressure ridging up then from the southwest. So, um, that's probably going to be nice dry, but could be a bit on the coolest side. And then, uh, well, week four is quite interesting. That's the 29th of September, the 5th of October. The high pressure goes up towards Greenland then. And uh, that could start to bring down quite a cool, maybe even quite cold, uh, sort of northeasterly flow. I mean, it's only October, so not, not going to be cold, cold, but maybe cold up some uh, early frosts and that. We do still have ridging down across southern Europe. That's going to try to continue with those warm southern southwesterly. So, so it's uh, properly cold, cool, cold. You've got to uh, get low pressure going through the Med, of course, through southern Europe, which we don't have there. Anyway, four weeks away, so not really worth worrying about. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please, please like, share, subscribe, and share, share, and that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all other videos of content. Don't forget to have friends back down, so get subscribed to Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. I won't say what video is coming up tomorrow, because I'm just going to take it a day at a time. I think I'm being, you know, quite a bit better, though, today, compared to how I was, particularly on Friday and Saturday. So, um, <coughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I think I think getting back on track with the events now. So, watch this space, and uh, there is more to come. And, oh, by the way, about winter update, I'm so sorry if anyone was waiting for the uh, first instalment of a countdown to winter 2025-2026. That was scheduled, it penciled in, to be uh, update number one, to be uh, released on Sunday, 7th of September. Obviously, I wasn't well over the weekend, so I wasn't able to get that done. means that we have a later start to our winter updates and uh, so we'll do update number one this Sunday, 14th of September. And, uh, you know, we might do one fewer of winter updates this season. Maybe we'll have uh, some 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 point somewhere on the chat. Maybe we'll have a double bill or something. You know, so just watch your space and we'll see how we uh, resolve that. But until we start in a week later, but doable. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, make sure everyone for doing that, and we'll see you more. Uh, we, uh, we'll see you soon uh, with more for this one. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.